it's very rare to see people on the left and the right agreeing with something, but if you go on Twitter right now, almost everyone is agreeing that the way the US government is handling the current hurricane issues is beyond hilarious. And it's hilarious if you don't live there. I mean, if you're actually a person that's affected by this, it's probably not as funny for you, but um, it seems that the government sends electric chainsaws to a Palatian town without uh, water or power. And as you can see, the pictures here uh, is showing how uh, people are making fun of this event. They're saying this is so on brand. Just got to check in on the Build Back Better and oh my, this is true government efficiency right here and uh, never rely on the government. Apparently, there's also rumors that there are uh, charity workers and volunteers that want to help, but the government is turning them away because it's like, well, you can't interfere with the government efforts. And these seems to be some of the efforts that the government is doing. So the real question is like, why is it happening and how can it be prevented? Well, I don't know how it can be prevented, but I do know why it's happening. And the reality is that in modern time, people are treating the government like God. Like whenever there's a natural calamity, including global warming, the government can fix it. And you just need to give more taxes. So you need to go into the wage cage, slave under the corporate employers. And um, after that, you, you, you come home and the government takes a big chunk of your money that you can't give to your wife and kids because the government knows how to better redistribute the fund. But the reality is that the government is not God, it's not an entity, it's just other human beings that, like you, have their own self-interest. And most people have the self-interest to give more money to their families. So when you have someone in a government position, uh, they start to try and find various ways of skimming the cash that's flowing through their direction. Um, so like, let's say that the body is supposed to go to some disaster relief, well, the person working at the office that has the ability to take some of that cash for themselves, usually through even legal means, they will do so. So over the course of time, people notice that the bureaucrats are taking the money away from where it needs to go and they're putting them in their pockets, like diverting them to various NGOs where their family happened to work or diverting them to various charities and places where they have uh, nepotistic things, right? Or hiring a company that their nephew works at in order to do the construction. So because of that, people start making more and more rules on how the body needs to be handled. Um, so this is why you get the bureaucratic bloat. You get it because what socialism tries to accomplish is to fix human greed. But unfortunately, there is no way to fix human greed. It's like trying to fix human lust. It's just there, right? So when you have the idea, it's like, what if we uh, take money away from the greedy people private sector and give it to the government because the government will distribute it properly, you realize that, well, actually, there's human beings working in the government as well, and they're greedy. So what do we do? Well, we pass more legislation. So you make it to the point where when you have a disaster or when you have like something that requires immediate care, you can't do it right away because it needs paperwork, because, you know, everything needs to be rubber stamped and everything needs to be slowed down to a crawl. Uh, and, and this is where the inefficiency comes from, because maybe when they decided to send these electric chainsaws, the town still had power. But by the time the chainsaws get there, there is no more power. And it's very difficult to make these uh, decisions on the spot or on the fly. Like usually what they have is like, OK, well, we, we have like these packages that are going to go to an area when the disaster hits. And they don't know what type of disaster there is. Like it could be an earthquake, it could be a flood, it, it could be a hurricane. They just like have them pre-packaged, pre-set. Uh, and this is how the government functions. So like when the event happens, well, the chainsaws eventually arrive there. and People find out, well, we don't have power. What are you doing? Now, of course, you know, throughout time, there are volunteers that do try to help. And, and, and some of the volunteers, like, genuinely want uh, to do things and they have their heart in the right place. But they may actually interfere with the government efforts. Like, may, they may fly drones in places where helicopters are uh, supposed to go through. They, they may um, do certain things that um, further endanger the relief efforts. And... Again, like there is legislation passed which prevents these things from happening. But unfortunately, you also get to prevent the actual competent people, right? So like because the legislation is set up in a way so that uh, the volunteers get to be 
directed uh, in, in a proper manner and organized in a proper fashion, well, you end up a situation where genuinely volunteers that may be able to help, like Elon Musk, for instance, gets to be turned away and then he has to make phone calls and because he is Elon Musk, he manages to uh, eventually be able to give aid. But other um, people that are volunteers, they can't. And again, there's also the human greed element. Like there are a lot of people that work in these organizations. There may be politicians that do insider trading or there may even be like people that are on the ground working at FEMA from various places like a director or someone that has their own personal interest and their own personal greed that they will be like, okay, well, uh, my company is selling this and it may not be necessarily their company, but they may have a friend that operates a company or they may have a relative that has like a company. And I can set some business their way, right? Like they don't want the volunteers to come in and give their goods. No, no, no. It has to be through their company so that they can make money. And, and this is like the problem with socialism because it sets out to do something which is to fix human greed. But like the people that are supposed to fix it are greedy as well because it's part of human nature. And when I say socialism, I mean like the whole concept that everything can be fixed through the government. If you just give the government more taxes, if you just give more resources, then society will be a better place, right? And, and the more resources the government has, like the more you go towards communism, where the government owns anything, the better it is. Uh, but in reality, this is what you end up with. It, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous, uh, very disrespectful. There's a lot of people on Twitter that are also complaining that uh, the government isn't doing enough and that um, they're also turning away volunteers or it makes it very difficult for the volunteers to get past the red tape in order to be able to actually help. And finally, it's also the issue of empathy. Like, if you actually know the people there, if they're part of your family or your friends or you actually been to that community, chances are you're more attached to their situation and you care a lot more than if you're a government worker that just signs a couple of papers and has, like, percentages and lists and statistics in front of them. I mean, sure, you know, even they may care because they see it on television and they say it's bad, but it's not the same level of care as if you actually know that person. Like, you can't convince me that... If you happen to work in a government office and you see the charts and you see the stats, you're going to care as much as if your own mother is there. Uh, so the the whole thing where they're uh, preventing volunteers and they're uh, making it difficult for people that want to have aid is, is going to make the situation a lot worse. And when something like this happens and, and people get the electric chainsaws without electricity, yeah, they're going to get a lot of flack for it. Let me know what you guys think, though, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.